During the last two years, we have all experienced the tremendous suffering that has been caused by the pandemic. People have been ill, they have lost their jobs, they have been suffering in so many ways, spiritually, psychologically. People who are particularly vulnerable have suffered the most. It's at a time like that that we really are called to think of who are we as disciples of Jesus Christ. What are we called to do? What does he call us to do? To be faithful and true in our life in Christ. And he teaches us because through the parable of the Good Samaritan, he lets us know what he expects of those who are his disciples. To care for the neighbor in distress, for those who have been beaten up by life. For in the parable of the Good Samaritan, we see the man at the side of the road who had literally been beaten up. He was there and people walked by and didn't stop to help until finally the Samaritan comes along and he notices, he reaches out, he helps him, he binds up his wounds, he puts them on his animal, takes him to a place of refuge. He thinks of all the practical details that this man needs. That's what the Lord expects his disciples to do, to show love in practical ways. With head, heart, and hands, reach out the hands of Christ for the one who is at the side of the road. And these days, so many people are suffering at the side of the road. And that's what we have been doing as a community of disciples of our Lord Jesus since the earliest days of our diocese, when our holy first bishop, Michael Power, gave his life literally at the age of 42, caring for the refugees who were there dying in the fever sheds. And that's what we've been doing ever since trying to follow in the footsteps of Christ our Lord, to be his faithful disciples. And that's what Share Life is all about. In Share Life, we help those who have been beaten up by life or who are suffering in any way, the vulnerable, the needy. That is the way in which we can act in the spirit of the Good Samaritan, to notice, to reach out to, to care for in practical ways those who are at the side of the road, those who are suffering. The needs are great and urgent, but the solution is in reach. Your hands and ours, working together to live the gospel. By helping us reach our goal, you ensure agencies can continue their compassionate care, turning no one away due to their background or financial means. This year, we have committed $2 million in new funding. That means more support for young people, more support for refugees, more support for hospital chaplains, and more aid for families in the Global South, among other growing needs. This is the difference you can make with your helping hand. I encourage everyone to give generously to share life. And that way, we walk in the footsteps of the Good Samaritan, and we walk in the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ. Please give on Share Life Sunday or anytime at sharelife.org.